Hey everybody, I'm Keychain. Today we have a new event uh, called Cave Exploration. Um, I'm going to get into the Cave Exploration. Uh, there's also a new special ant and a new insect uh, that are part of the event rewards for this event. Uh, I'm going to cover the cost of these, go over their abilities, what they do, why they're special, uh, and some other kind of cool things I've seen about this event. So we'll get into that in just a second. Now before I get started, just wanted to do a quick shout out to the Amazon App Store. Uh, if you guys are in a region that uses the Amazon App Store, I highly suggest you check it out. It'll save you money. Okay, so yesterday at Reset, you know, signing in, we've got this new event, this cave exploration. Uh, and when you check it out, there are dice. And you unlock dice by getting activity and then... The other way that you could get some dice were um, purchasing packs and with diamonds. So I bought the you know the two dice with diamonds, and I bought a five dollar pack. Um, so it's I mean it, it's not bad, um, and so far you know I I like it. It's. Uh, it's kind of fun to roll the dice and, and hope for things. And then you get points as you pass things. So like this one here that's glowing, you'll get those 100 points if you land on it, or if you pass it, you'll get those points. Um, the other unique thing about this event, the thing that I really like, and the thing that I wanted to bring attention to, <clears throat> out on the map, they've got these, these spiders. Um, and they've linked a bunch of them for me so that I can rally these. Um, so these spiders, when you rally them, they don't cost stamina. And that is great because, let me show you in a second, I'm going to rally these four. Um, the reason that's great is because they give like 200,000 resources for each spider. So each spider is going to give 200,000 resources and some creature remains. <coughs> And it doesn't cost stamina. So that's win-win all around. It's like you just have to participate in these. Okay, that one's already being rallied. So actually, let me let me look at one of these now so I can show you. So when you, the first two times you fight these each day, you're going to gain a tertiary egg, 20 spores, one of these packs. So if, if it's your first two spiders, you can, you know, pick the resource pack and then 20 hours of speed ups, and then the additional six times the hunt bonus, so you can kill eight a day, you're gonna gain this cave exploration lucky chest, which gives you one of these, you know, 100,000 honeydew, sand, or wet soil, which are valuable. And then you get this selector pack. So you can actually choose which of the resources that you're low on and get that resource. You can get 100,000 sand, 150,000 soil, or 250,000 of, of the plant or the meat, which is great. Um, I love these packs. I love selecting the resources that I need at the moment because I'm always balancing them and killing different creatures to kind of get what I'm low on and gathering to get what I'm low on. So that's great. These are spawning all over the map. So check those out. And if you see a rally for those, join it uh, because you're going to get free rewards. Okay. <clears throat> going back into the event. So there's the limited packs that you can buy each day. And you can see that it goes all the way up. You can get 56 dice for $100. But it's not just the dice. Okay. Because when you do this, you're also gaining two insect eggs. So if you bought this $100 pack, you're getting 56 dice and you're getting the insects. Or if you're after more dice and less of the other stuff, this pack here for $50, you're getting 40 dice for $50, but you can buy it 10 times. So for $100, you can get 80 dice instead of 56 dice. So if you are a spender, um, you can decide what you actually need if you're spending at that level. Uh, and I'm gonna buy one of these packs to do some, some dice and do some math. Now, getting into the rewards from this event. Oh, and let me show you where I'm at so far. So I've spent $15 so far um, on dice, and I've got 357 points. 
So I'll spend a little bit more in a minute and show you guys with 40 dice what we can get. Um, it's, I'm guessing, going to be very expensive to unlock these these new, uh, the new insect and the new ant because, I mean, <laughs> why, why wouldn't it be? Um, looking at the rewards here, they've got this, you know, anniversary feast fragment skin. Um, 6,000 points for a skin. That's not my style, but some of you might like that. You can also spend to get <clears throat> these fragment packs of some higher level ants and you get 20 fragments for that. So you would need 10 of these, which is 6,000. Unlocking the insect is 6,000. See a pattern here. 6,000 is the magic number to get one of the top good rewards fully unlocked. Um, let's cover first the Emperor Scorpion because out of the rewards here, I think this is the best one. And the reason for that is if you were going to unlock the new special ant to make it actually usable, you need two copies to be able to unlock you know, you need to be able to unlock the colony leader ability to even be able to use the ant um, compared to the others. So to unlock the ghost ant and make it actually usable, you need 12,000. Quite expensive. Um, so going into the Emperor Scorpion, the thing that's better about this is it's got a higher attack for the carriers. So carrier, ant, attack, defense, march speed, 80 combat speed. Um, it's got a unique new feature on here called controlled resistance. So when you get this to eight star, it has it adds a resistance for your carrier ants to be controlled by um, special abilities of enemy special ants. So being silenced, being stunned, being um, you know manipulated in that way. And they they put out an, a mail for this. So let me check that system mail. So from the Ant Studio, um, here's here's where they talk about it a little bit. So this Emperor Scorpion, um, in here, we'll, we'll cover it from here. Um, you get extra health, um, special ant attack skill when leading carrier ants, plus 50%, and defense when leading carrier ants, plus 70%. So this Scorpion makes it so that you really, really want all of your team to be special ants. So they really are pushing for all marches to be one type. Um, and this, you know, things like this are really going to do it. Um, okay. So, I mean, it's really good. <laughs> I like that, that new scorpion and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not thinking that I'll be able to afford getting it, but we'll see what happens when I spend, the 50 and do 40 rolls. If I get like 500 points for that, you know, not worth it. If I get a thousand points or like 1500 points, we'll see. Okay. Covering the ghost ant, um, looking at this ability. So the first one is your, your March speed or your, your March capacity. And the sixth ability is your colony leader March capacity, right? So those are standard. This is the one that makes this ant really amazing. Um, and people probably don't think too much about what's actually happening in the fights and the CC, uh, CC is crowd control. But so this one makes it so that there's a hundred percent chance to gain wake, which makes them immune for the first round or one time to crowd control. And it lasts until the end of the battle. So, the first time an enemy ant uses an ability that would, say, stun your ants or uh, silence your special ant or any of those crowd control, you know, suppression, confusion, any of those things, it makes it so it's immune to that. So it counters a huge chunk of enemy special ants and their main thing is if they stun you in the first round of battle, there's a huge random swing there because their ants attack and kill your ants and they take no damage because your ants were stunned. So then when round two starts, 
they have more ants to your less ants. So it's like if you had 10,000 against 10,000 and they stun your ants in the first round and say they kill 25%. So then when round two starts, you have 7,500 ants to their 10,000 and you lose that. So then from the rest of the battle on, it's like you attacked with less troops. So this counters that and makes it so that you're definitely going to be at full strength attacking. Next piece of this, carrier ant defense, 76% at the highest level. That's very, very high. Um, that's crazy. Same thing with this attack. So 76% attack and defense for the ants in your squad. And then this Ghost Strike ability, um, so a 60% chance to deal 300% damage um, to the enemy back lines, increasing their skill damage received by 30%. So it's attacking their, you know, my interpretation of this, and I could be wrong, but it's attacking the back lines, which means your third ant in the rotation. And increasing the damage they take by 30%, which is pretty huge as well, um, if this triggers. So, you know, that's additional damage inflicted. Um, and then this ability here, so this one is all ants in the unit, 25% health. That's decent. I like abilities that do all ants in the unit because, again, if you're using all three carriers, this is carrying over to those and giving an extra boost in stats. Now the last thing about this ant that is amazing, watch this, deliberate attack. So this one has an 80% chance to deal 175% damage to two random enemy squads and steal 40% attack of the target, which lasts for the round. Now this has an 80% chance to go off, which is very, very high. If there's not an internal cooldown on this, it can trigger round after round, which means that the swing of damage, 40% one way and 40% the other way is a difference of 80%. And it's a percent. So I don't know if this percent means just 40% attack, like they are minus 40 and you're plus 40, or if it's 40% of the total. So is it 40% of... 500% attack if that's their stats and it's dropping them down um, 200 or is it just a flat 40%? Um, I don't know how to interpret this game yet to see what that actually means. But either way, it's a very good skill and with an 80% chance to trigger, it's going to be going off a ton. So this is going to do a huge amount of damage. Um, and uh, the other thing that I need to look at here is the range. <clears throat> this has an effective range of 5. So my understanding of the game is that an effective range of 5 can hit from the back line to the front line, uh, middle line, etc. So I think that this would be a good ant for the back lines because it is able to attack all three rows. Um, oh, the difference though is this clear head is only an effective range of 2. So this might be a good middle ant for this ability. Um, so either a middle or a back row ant, it's a support, so that's what it's good at, and then carriers, of course. So overall, fantastic new ant. I really wish that I was able to unlock this uh, and use it because I use carriers, I love carriers, and this ant is amazing. So let's see what kind of points, um, what kind of points we can get, and how much it would cost to you know, unlock this. And there's going to be randomness in this, uh, and these numbers aren't going to be 100% final, but this will give you a good idea of what the cost is going to be. So it might help, might help you make some decisions on if you can afford it or if that's even in the realm of possibilities for you. So uh, other thing I want to talk about, when you're using the Amazon App Store, and you buy a pack, this is what happens. Rather than using you know, your credit card and stuff, it uses the coins in your coin balance. Uh, I have a pin set up, so I use my pin. Um, the pin is specifically for my phone, so showing you my pin, you'd have to have my phone and want to spend Amazon coins on the game on my behalf, which the chances of that happening are very low. 
So we bought this pack. Now we've got 40 dice. So right now we're at 357 points. We're going to start spinning. When you do a spin and you pass these other points, um, you don't gain all of them. So it's only what you land on. So watching this, so I got a two, I landed on this, I get the 100 points. I think the ones that are flashing you get anyways, no matter what. But landing on that, I gained two points. Now, the other thing that you're waiting to trigger is these crave, these cave creatures. Um, they give you extra rewards. Sometimes those will trigger, trigger randomly. If I would have landed on that creature, I would have been able to attack it. But there are other good rewards in here. Um, and sixes are fantastic. And there I landed on a advanced three squares. The arrow is advanced three squares. So it's kind of like getting a three dice with a roll of three. Um, so four. And here, these toxic baits are used to attack um, the creatures when they come in. The description on them is a little bit wrong um, because... When you look at the description, it says it can lure creatures so that you can challenge them. I have not been able to lure any creatures with this. I can't figure out how to lure them. But when you when a cave creature spawns, you use it to attack. So you see there, I got the points for that 100, even though we passed it. And I would love to get this, but I very much doubt I'll get a run, a, a level 1. Um, the other thing that they sell, see these selective dice down here? You can buy these golden dice for a dollar, and it allows you to pick your roll. Whoops. So if I really wanted this two-star insect egg, I'm like, well, that means I can get a two-star insect for a dollar. Um, but this is not a guarantee, right? One of the following rewards may be triggered by the shell. So it's most likely that I'm going to end up getting like the honeydew. And I don't want to spend a dollar on honeydew. So I'm not going to use the selective dice on that. We could hope for a one. So here we got 10 more points. And we're 10 dice down. And we're getting a lot of these bait, which I don't really need the bait right now. I need other things. Let's try and trigger a spider. Like I'd really like to... So there we got a free dice. That's always good to keep you going, keep you moving forward. So the red spider up, or the, the scorpion up here, because this one has the red, um, if I pass it or land on it, it'll trigger. So we'll get to fight it. So no matter what, we're going to need to fight this scorpion. So let's check that out. Okay, so here's where we get to attack. So see, see here where it costs one of these snails to attack this? Um, that's kind of what I was talking about, like the description is wrong. And we're going to attack with this, my top march. And you see I'm going to beat this scorpion pretty easily. If you lose to the scorpion, it keeps its health. So I lost yesterday. I used my secondary march, and I lost one. When I lost, I took it down to like 45%. I was able to use a second snail and attack again to then finish off the scorpion. So it took two snails instead of one. So if you're not super strong yet with your main march, you can still do this event. So don't worry there, okay? All right, so we're going to keep trucking along, see what we land with. Um, five more points there. I'm going to speed this up a little bit going forward now that we've explained all the possibilities. And you see here, we gain those points even though we didn't land on it because it's a flashing square. I think the thing that would have made this event more free to play friendly or more achievable is everything you pass you get like all the points you pass if you actually get them that would have been great so here i mean a one would be nice another creature to fight but any big rolls are actually good because we want to fight creatures we want to pass those guaranteed 100 points um and we want to do you know, all of that stuff. So here, this one is, again, we'll fight it. It doesn't cost any stamina, gain some rewards. And I think we get some extra points when we kill those as well. So here's another 100 points that we'll get. A six, that's great. Ooh, and the three. So that was basically an effective roll of nine, which is fantastic. So here, a one would be okay, but three is good. 100 spores, I like it. 
I would really love to land on one of these spiders. But a six is great. I'm not going to complain about a six. We get to attack another and kill the scorpion, gain some more rewards. So we're down to seven dice. We're about to run out of dice. Um, and then we can do some quick math. So we had, what did I have, 350 points roughly before? So, oh man, like, it's expensive. It's quite expensive. Um, I don't think, honestly, for a lot of people, that this is a realistic um, thing to chase after. So, okay. So we bought 40 dice for $50. And with 40 dice, we got 900 points. So, if you were going to buy the pack just for dice and not gain much else, is you're only going for dice, um, oh, geez, like, let's see, 900 points would be you need to buy the pack seven times. No, six times. Um, six times nine, 45. No, seven times would be 50, 100, eight times. <laughs> and hope for a little bit of extra RNT. So at least eight times. So you need $400 to unlock and achieve the Emperor Scorpion, the Castle Skin, or the Ghost Ant. Um unless they start giving away dice in other events um my recommendation is don't chase this i don't think it's worth it anytime they put events like this um where there's a new thing these are whale events um these events are for the big spenders they put these out the big spenders can get them first and then in a month or two they will add it to a hatching pool or they'll make it cheaper like maybe this event comes back in two months and the emperor scorpion and the ghost ant are now three thousand points instead or two thousand points instead and then it's like okay you can spend a hundred bucks or two hundred bucks to get these ants or the the scorpion but maybe they're exclusive and they never come back when that happens i'm not typically happy with the game where when they put things like this behind a paywall and they don't make it free-to-play friendly soon enough or at all, I really, really dislike that. And I hope this game is not like that, but I haven't played it long enough to know. Uh, I have had people tell me it's super pay-to-win. Um, you know, for myself, the things that I'm buying and the things that I'm doing to compete so far... It doesn't seem that bad, but there are plenty of times where I think I'm doing good. My special ant march is great. And then I come up against someone that has like two and a half times my stats and just insane amount of stuff. I'm like, okay, like I remember where I'm at and I'm never going to be one of those big, massive spenders. And I have to be okay with that um, or this is not the type of game for me. So keep that in mind. Now, another thing I wanted to point out quickly before this video ends is the Colony Cake Celebration event, um, the anniversary celebrations, the last two events unlocked, and they're kind of unrealistic. So here, to unlock you know, the Tier 5 over here and be able to complete this event, you have to unlock the Anniversary Feast Hill special skin over here for 6,000 points. All right, so to get two of these little packs and one of these exotic shells, <laughs> you have to spend $400. And then the last one is to unlock the Emperor Scorpion to again gain an exotic shell and two anniversary chests. You need to spend another $400 on top of purchasing these anniversary limited time packs, which you need eight of. So at least, I think I did the math on these, 
at least six hundred dollars. So if you want to unlock, or if you see somebody with this sweet blessing fragments chat bubble, they've spent at least a thousand dollars in this game, which is absolutely insane. And that's not just in the game; that's on this event where the rewards are terrible. So if you see this chat bubble, beware of the person that you're talking to because you don't want to mouth off to them. You don't want them mad at you because they are clearly, clearly spending a lot of this game and they will very clearly wreck your castle or your anthill. So, okay. Um, I think that's it for this event um, and the things that I wanted to cover. Uh, remember to hit the like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.